Hi, it's Colleen. I am here at Mercy Medical Center with Elaine, who is the clinical research nurse of pediatrics, and she's also a car seat specialist here at the hospital. And we are here because, like many parents, I was not exactly securing my child into her car seat properly and obviously safety number one for all of us parents you can all relate to that so Elaine is here she's gonna help clear up some things and um, we'll start with what what I was doing wrong uh, with Mia which is actually securing the infant into the car seat and Elaine you said this actually the setup we have right here is not even right really correct it's incorrect okay so show us how if we are we have baby uh, okay, so we have baby, and we've got uh, baby just set in here, straps off to the side. Where do we go from there? Okay, one of the things that we have to look at first of all is when you're rear facing, which is what this baby's going to be, right. our harness straps need to be at or below her shoulder. And if we look at where those go, they go way below. So I actually need to move these straps. Okay, so this the straps, because you got all these different slots in the back, you guys all know that. So you want this the slot matching up, that the back of this is going in and over the shoulder. Right. Okay. And if you don't know how to move that strap, you're going to look in your owner's manual. It's going to give you guidance on doing that. Okay, so in the back, make sure the strap's coming up at the right height. All right. Yep, at or below the shoulders. So then we're first of all going to fasten the crotch strap, we call that. Yep, and so that comes over the comes baby's up legs. Up over the hips. Yes, over the hips. And then this is called the retainer clip. And we want those straps to be nicely up over the shoulders. And then every seat is somewhat different. So again, the owner's manual is crucial here to help you with that. But this is how we're going to tighten these harness straps. And especially in this seat, you want to start here at the hips because they tend to hide a little extra strap down there. Yep. And then we're just going to continue to pull that snug, making sure that retainer clip doesn't bop them in the little chin when right. we do that. So that we're going to get this pretty secure. Now, a long time ago we used to say we wanted you to be able to slip a finger underneath the harness straps, but we don't say that anymore because what we found is that some of the harness straps are way too tight. So you want them to be secure, but you don't want them so tight that it's so much pressure on this baby's chest that they can't breathe adequately. Okay. Okay? Okay. Now this baby isn't real, of course, so we're just going to kind of pretend. When the harness straps are tight enough, we do what we call a pinch test. So I'm going to slide my fingers across. If I can pinch up strap, it's too loose. Okay. So I need to continue to make that a little bit more secure. Okay. Until I slide my fingers across and I don't pinch up any extra strap. Okay. All right. Okay. That's good to know. I didn't know about the pinch test. Uh, now, what, well, we're standing here. This going over. Mm -hmm. Does this need to go back, or is this another look at your manual? Because your manual. This is will another tell look you. at your manual. Okay. It used to it's be different. that we said they always had to be down. Okay. Now there are some manufacturers that say that it can be up but in a locked position. So this okay. is a locked position. Got it. But again, you have to look at the owner's manual. And this car seat is, uh, this carrier is sitting on a, on a base. We have a, a base here. Um, and so with the base, you want to make sure most of them have like this little leveler here, right? So Correct. it being level. And what else is important about securing the base in the car? Well, and one comment about this, this is a level indicator, but what it's actually measuring is the degree of the angle of the seat. And when you're rear facing, especially for a tiny baby, it needs to be what the manufacturer tells you, and typically that's 45 degrees. So if you notice on this one, it talks, if your baby's between 4 and 11 pounds, it needs to be in this section, and if the baby's a little bit bigger, it can be in this section. Okay. And that's because as the baby gets bigger, they have more head support, and they can right. hold their head up a little better. Okay. Because what we see sometimes is, especially when these come with the seat, that's perfectly fine to use. But when your baby's tiny, it really doesn't give them much support. And then their little head flops, and we don't want that. So you can actually take this out and then just use a couple of baby blankets to support that baby's head. We put one on this side as well. That will give the baby the support so their head doesn't fall. Okay. And the cool thing about the base, because this was funny, on the website uh, we did have a listener, and I'm not making, making I'm not judging, uh, who thought that the base and everything came out. She was carrying her carrier with the base. We see um, that a lot. The base can stay in the car. That's a nice thing. And, so it, and it usually just, what, clips out back there? You know, there's a little... Um, we squeeze and that lifts the seat off the base. Perfect. So base stays in car, 
carrier comes out. That's you know, that's the, the beauty and the ease of it. Now, um, you know that you need to move up from the carrier uh, when a baby, there's usually what, uh, weight and length, uh, and they're different depending on the carrier. Exactly. Is there an average, like, typically they start about 5 pounds and go up to about 30 pounds now, but we know that we want our babies to be rear facing longer, so some of these even go higher than that. Okay. The easiest way to tell is either look in your owner's manual or look at the labels that are on the seats. This particular seat starts at 4 pounds and goes up to 35 pounds. Okay. And so we focus a lot on the weight, but you also have to look at the height yeah. or the length because yeah. some of those babies get really long. Yeah, we have a we, long baby. We don't want their heads up above the seat. Right. Or the little legs dangling too far off yes. of the end. 